have any of you seen these electric scooters parked around your city? I'm yes. sure you have. Yep. You can activate them with a mobile app, take them for a spin around town, but emergency rooms are reporting a huge uptick in injuries as unskilled scooter drivers use them, often without helmets. And we actually have one of these scooters here in our studio, Brett. Hey. Oh, here he is. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, Brett is wearing a helmet, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Papa Wheelie. <laughs> Safety first. Oh, that's not safe, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> why there's no is there I mean we know here in Denver there aren't any helmet laws but I, that just seems ridiculous to me Brandon and I I think have t ridden them a bunch I've ridden them here almost every day for the past two weeks and I love them but the truth of the matter is when you're in a downtown area like we are you got to be careful about parking garages about little alleyways because if you don't hit the brakes I mean people are not really paying attention and you're in something very small I've had three near misses coming out of my parking garage because in downtown Denver like you can't tell sometimes that it's an actual like exit so people just whiz right by you or I've had people think that they can stop and have fallen forward in front of my vehicle uh, wow. so I'm like so cautious you gotta be see someone you go yes. one thing I've had to do I've had to take my headphones off when I ride that's one thing I, I won't do now have headphones on when I ride the scooters and people just be safe out there it, they're, they're a good time but now you see why people are ending up in the ER yeah it's very scary Brad seemed pretty good though have you ridden those before Brad <laughs> Uh, yeah, I live on these things, basically. <laughs> I, I, I've commuted to work on these. Okay. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> of course. <laughs>